What's going on, everybody? It's Jordan Johnson again, Johnson Alpha Capital. Today is Thursday, April the 9th, um, coming to you all. Um, got some good trades on right now. If you watched the video yesterday, hopefully you was able to, um, you know, position yourself to where you can make money on these trades that are playing out right now. Um, this video is not going to be too long. Um, kind of just going over, recap what I see in the markets. Um, first, I'm going to start off by showing you all the positions that I do have on on my live account. Let's switch over to the um, MetaTrader 4 platform. Um, first, let's start. Let's look at Ozzy Dollar. I am long Ozzy Dollar, as you can see. I got about a lot. I got a lot size on it. Um, position is already um, in a risk. It's already risk free. Um, Risk free just means that's stop loss in front of my entry, so there is no chance of loss on this trade. Um, let's look at I got a euro dollar uh, and long euro dollar. Um, this is a lot position as well. Um, I thought this was already moved to break even. I'll go ahead and already move that slightly past break even on euro dollar. I have a Aussie CAD and Kiwi dollar position as well. Let's go to Kiwi. I'm um, good position on Kiwi. Kiwi, uh, I got in it with a 0.75 on this pair because my stop loss was a little bit farther away. Um, that is risk free as well. My last position was doing good. I believe we just had some Canadian news that came out. Uh, CAD scanning strength. I was long on Aussie CAD at a 0.70. Um, it was going really well in my position. It looks like it is about to get stomped out for break even. If you, if I just zoom out a little bit, you can see why we did come up and retest these highs here. Where, uh, if I can't, yeah, well, it came came back up, retested these highs. Um, now price just reacting to it. it's probably going to come back retest this level. Um, and stop me out of the trade. That's perfectly fine. Um, let's jump back over to the chart, go over some technicals. Um, so yesterday we looked at the U.S. dollar. I kind of gave an in-depth um, analysis on the U.S. dollar on how I anticipated the next move to be down. As you can see, we did get this down move um, this morning. We are moving towards my blue box. We are not quite there yet. If we do get to this blue box, um, a lot of them trades that I'm in, that I'm in um, will move farther towards take profit. For those of you that don't know, um, the U.S. dollar is directly correlated with any with any pair that has the U.S. dollar in it. So uh, um, a stronger, let's go, a weaker U.S. dollar. This isn't too. I mean, delete that, you all. That's not kind of what I wanted. But anyway, it's kind of sloppy. Um, anyway, uh, for those of you that don't know, um, like I said, the, the dollar index, the DXY, the U.S. dollar is directly correlated to any um, U.S. dollar, any pair that has the USD in it. So when the dollar gets, um, when the dollar is losing strength, any pair that is XXX USD will lose strength as well. I'll write it out for you all. Any pair that is XXX USD will lose strength. Any pair that is USD, I'm sorry, any pair will gain strength. And any pair that is USD XXX will lose strength. I'm not having a great time today typing and drawing for you all. Okay, that's So dollar weakness equal 
anything that is XXX slash USD will gain strength. Anything that is USD XXX will lose strength. Um, so that's a way that a simple tip you can use um, to when you're doing your overall analysis, you can kind of look at the dollar index um, for a macro view of how the micro um, markets will move. Um, so dollar index, this is what I'm anticipating. It's ABC down. Now two options once we get here. I went over these yesterday. This is just my first level where I'm looking for dollar index. Might find some type of support at. Overall, I'm looking at we had this initial move down. I believe that was my impulsive move down to kind of set the um, the new bearish market. This move up, as I stated yesterday, I see this as a correction. So now what is going to happen? We're either going to get a we going to probably two things happen. Either we're going to come back to this blue box, as you see here, and we're going to either come here, come back up to make a bigger corrective structure, and come back down to move towards my over. If you look lower, it's just my overall blue box where I think the dollar index is ultimately going to end up. Or we are going to come down lower, retest these lows here. Come back up to retest these highs. Then we're going to, instead of forming a, a zigzag correction, we'll form a flat, which would be an A, B, C, then go lower. Or we can get something, you know, very simple, which uh, which might happen. I don't think it's the highest probability, but we could just blow past these levels and go straight towards the blue box to form this bigger zigzag, to form this bigger correction. Now, because of time, I, I don't think the market's just going to move directly like that. Um, but that is a possibility of what could happen. So that's why I'm going to dollar index. Let's look into um, some of the Forex pairs, looking at dollar Swiss, dollar uh, Swiss yesterday, I mentioned that kind of like dollar breakout come down. Um, we formed, we didn't quite get to this blue box as I was anticipating. Uh, here, we got this break of trend line. So a few things that could happen with this. Let's drop some. Fibonacci retracement. If we bring out some extensions at sixty one point eight, it's going to be a strong area. Kind of right in here. This will be my first level where I can see US dollar Swiss going. Um, there's a few routes that we can take to get there. I illustrate those for you. Either we can something like that, straight down to the box. Wouldn't be surprised if we kind of come back up just to retest these highs one more time. Then go to the box. I think this would probably be the more likely one. Probably come back up just to retest this um, previous support now resistance area. Then go to the box, something like that. Um, I can definitely see that happening as well on dollar Swiss, dollar yen. I was looking at dollar yen yesterday, breaking out of this flag. Um, it didn't quite get there. I was in this trade. Uh, make sure y'all can see. I was. In this, it was it was doing pretty decent for me yesterday. Never quite really took off. I ended up getting um, stomped out for a break-even trade. We are coming down to this level, which I had on here since last week. So we might get into this level. Um, Miss 200 is down here acting as um, support and then make a move up. Don't really see anything to... Um, great on that right now. Um, Euro dollar. This is a position that I'm currently in. Last, um, I stayed on the last few videos that I was looking for. Excuse me, I was looking for this up move in the euro. So as you all seen in the beginning of the video, I do have a position on the euro, pretty decent entry. I am targeting into this blue box. Um, we could go much higher in the euro. I got a higher level blue box up here as well. So um, two alternatives. Yesterday, yesterday we kind of spoke um, kind of in detail about having a game plan in the markets, how to kind of think about it like chess, um, you know, if the thought process is trying to be a couple steps ahead and not being 
so set on one analysis, one interpretation. But also, also in yesterday's video, if you haven't watched yesterday's video, definitely go back and watch it. A lot of great content. Um, it is a difference of having of theory versus practical application. So, for example, theory is when, when that any time that you like forecast and you do technical analysis or you try to make some interpretation of what you think the market is going to do or how you think it's going to do it, um, you know, have along out that is, that's a theory. That is your theory of how you think the markets will move. Um, it's the, the, it's a difference. You can you can be a great technical trader. You could be great with theory, trying to predict the market, but you can suck at like you can literally flat out suck and be terrible when it comes to executing the trade, managing your trade, using good risk management. You just you just suck at actually trading and having a trade plan and being consistently profitable. Um, those are two completely different skill sets. It's, it, Two completely different skill sets from being able to analyze the markets versus being able to trade and make consistent profit. Um, you have to understand that I had to understand that on my journey. Like that, that's why even if you look at like the big banks, these big firms and stuff, those are two completely different positions. You have people that are analysts that analyze the markets, create reports, um, data, all of that good stuff. Then you have people that are quote unquote designated traders, whether whether they're discretionary trader or whether they're a quant trader. People that are actually executing the trades to make money in the markets. Two completely different positions, two completely different skill sets from being able to analyze the markets versus being able to make consistent um, prop, just being able to make consistent profitable um, trades, being able to make money. So looking at the euro, first targets on this trade, I'm actually I'm targeting up into this blue box because it is very well likely that we just go to this blue box and come back down lower. That is likely. Um, but, however, I can see two other things that can happen on this. If we blow past this level, definitely go back up to retest this um, resistance level. I didn't want that to be a line. Let me get a horizontal ray. Definitely. Um, to make this A, B, bigger C, so we could do that. So I, I just show you all the multiple scenarios that can happen. So we go, I so we go up, retest this low, retest this high here. I said we find support. So we come back down here, go back up to complete that structure. I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think that's too likely. I don't like that structure the way it looks. Um, so as you said, we come up into this blue box. We come back down. That's likely. Um, also. I think either that's going to happen or we're going to get this move into this blue box here before we make the ultimate move down. That's going to depend on how we the dollar index get. Um, but that's euro. I'm already in play on that. Pound dollar, I was in this trade on yesterday. I ended up getting out for break even. Um, it didn't quite go like I want to. It's going down. It was a good entry on it yesterday. I decided to get long on euro dollar, Aussie dollar, and Kiwi dollar. Um, I left the pound dollar out. Um, I don't want to be too, I don't want to have like all of my open positions correlated that's based on, you know, the U.S. dollar going up or down. Because if the U.S. dollar go up, then I'm going to lose, I'm pretty much going to probably lose all of those positions and just, or just in case one of those are just, you know, just too strong. Uh, one thing is I diversified my, um, my positions on the dollar amongst three pairs, so I'm not totally all dependent on one pair. Get my notifications off the screen, okay? <laughs> she don't want to go away. Um, so as, as pound dollar, still same thing on pound dollar, you guys, still beautiful setup. We had a couple beautiful entries here. Um, we are having trouble right now as we are approaching this previous resistance, as we're, I mean, we're approaching this um, resistance area where we're, we are approaching these highs. Um, I do think we are going to break them and move up towards this blue box. Something to keep watching for. Still, I mean, it's a great trade here. If we do get a break above that resistance line, I think it's going to be kind of just a runaway to that blue box. Uh, look at Dollar Care. Dollar Care this weekend. Um, I posted a pretty, I posted a um, pretty good swing setup on Dollar Canada on the second, so about a week ago. Um, I eases a couple possible um analysis that I mean 
forecast that I've seen can go around our cap. Pretty much same forecast, just a couple ways to get there. Um, we are moving now to retest this previous support level. Let's see how we act there um, and move towards this blue box. That is that on dollar cat. Um, this was the pound dollar that I posted. As you can see, came in like I thought, went back up. Um, Euro, I don't think Euro Swiss is doing exactly as I forecast. I thought we was gonna move down. I think we ended up going up a little bit more. I think I was, yeah, we ended up going up. Kind of just, kind of just consolidating. We still can get that break. Ozzy, this intraday setup. I don't think this intraday setup ever played out. Yeah, it never played out. Um, that's fine. I got stopped out of that trade, but I'm, as you can see, um, I'm in on it now. Euro yen. Did this ever? Yep, yeah, this one. This one went directly to Target, so that was good. Um, I haven't published one. I don't think this week. Um, dollar cash. Let's go to Kiwi. Um, Kiwi. Doing good on this. I, it's, a, it's another one. If you go back to yesterday's video, um, I talked about this. I um, kind of explained the the setup, and I was able to take advantage of the setup, which is definitely good. Okay, sorry about that. Um, as you can see here, um, we are approaching kind of like pound dollar. We are approaching some resistance. This one, is, did I put blue box on here? It's a little bit farther. Uh, this is probably my first take profit around the 62, um, 62,000 area on Kiwi. Ozzy Dollar is doing perfect, um, real good setups on here. First one is going to probably be around the 6,400 area. We'll see how we act once we get there. Um, so that's, that's about it for the dollar pair. So let's look at some of these crosses. I don't think I've seen a lot of, well, look at Pound, <laughs> Pound New Zealand. It's going, um, Pound Kiwi is going straight to my blue box. I did see this set. I, I, I didn't like this moving up, so I, I never participated on that. Um, pound yen is moving up. I think that moves just about done. Don't see nothing great there. Pound um, Swiss gave us a couple of decent setups here. Gave us a couple of good setups here. Um, never, never quite went off. I think this is probably, this move's probably going to be just about done. Um, we're having a lot of trouble with this level. Let's see, four hour time frame. Um, I don't know, four hour, it looks like we definitely still can get there. Um, just, I don't see a good setup. I don't want to spend a lot of time just analyzing today. I want it to be more kind of setup based. Pound cat. We got this break. Um, looks like we're coming back. We could see something like this on Pound Cat. I think this is going to be a, a pretty decent key area of support um, to see how the market reacts to this. I guess it's kind of new. Yeah. See how we react to this. Um, I do like this pound care potential bad setup. See, just see what we get here. Just, just look at that. Um, also, I wouldn't be surprised if I like. I might like this one a little bit better actually. If, if you get a break here, I don't know. That's that's kind of. Kind of, I'm kind of indecisive on pound care. I'm gonna look at that, analyze that later. If I see anything, we will. I send it out. Um, pound Aussie is going down. This is set up there. Euro New Zealand. We talked about this yesterday. Kind of a small setup here. Um, a bright moving down. Don't see nothing to really change that viewpoint. Euro Yen. I did like this. We had a break of the flag. I don't think we're going to go too far in the yen pairs. Uh, I don't. If anything, I think on the yen pairs, we're going to get one more move down. 
probably come back down here to this level or come back down a little bit more and then go i think we got one more down move in the um yen just pretty much anything that is yen um, based yeah, probably get a deeper retracement. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can definitely see us coming back down. I, I am going to have, I do think we definitely do for one more up move in pretty much all of the yen pairs. I just don't think we're going to get it right now. I think that's about it, you all. Um, I didn't want this video to be too long. Just want to kind of go over um, what we touched on yesterday, show you all the open trades. We'll get back in. I think I'm around two grand profit on these positions. Swish in. I was in this swish in. Actually, I just closed. I, can, I manually closed this one for break even. Uh, great break of the flag. I mean, it's it's checked just about all the boxes um, for this to go. Kind of my like I said, I do think we're gonna get one more move down before we go up in the yen pairs. Ozzy News League Z Link gave us a trade yesterday. Ozzy Yen's going to, Ozzy is just so strong right now, you all. Ozzy K look like it finally reached this, reached this blue box. Okay, but we're moving up towards this. I'm in Ozzy K right now. What am I talking about? Um, so that's about it. Let's look back at my live positions before we get off. Um Ozzy Dollar's doing great. Euro Dollar's doing great. Um, Kiwi dollars doing great. So all of these pairs are correlated, you all. Um, for those of you that don't know, you see how USD is the base pair. Um, when we talked about dollar strength versus dollar weakness, it's going to decide what these pairs do. Um, so these pairs are very correlated. I, I basically call myself short in the dollar. Um, by me shorting the dollar, I diversified the positions among these three pairs here. Um, just so I wasn't all in on one pair because sometimes the quote pairs with the eyes of the euro, New Zealand, some of them might go. Higher than others do. I'm um, better than others. Um, this Aussie CAD trade, um, and this one as well. All over my break even. Um, so that's about it, you all. I hope you all seen value. Um, if you haven't had a chance to watch yesterday's video, um, definitely watch um yesterday's video. Give me some feedback. Um, if you do enjoy the videos, um, share the video, show me like it. Um, you know, show me support. That way I can keep making this content for you all. Hopefully, you all are benefiting from it. Um, I hope you all have a good, strong finish of the week. I might make a video tomorrow morning um, if I see some good setups. If not, I definitely make one um, this this weekend going into the open. I'm gonna send out some more analysis tips. Um, message me. You know, don't be a, don't be afraid to reach out. Like, um, if there is any topics that you all would like for me to cover in more detail during these videos, um, let me know um, so that it can be more engaging to you all. You know, answer questions. Um, pretty much anything to hold now yours, man. Just reach out. Let me know. Um, with that being said, I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Hope you have a good time in the markets. Make some money. Um, see you all next time.